Hey folks, messing around with different vibratos here, ladies and gentlemen. Greg Cock in the ancillary Wildwood Lair. Sitting here with this delicious, true historic 57 Les Paul Custom from our friends at the Gibson Custom Shop. And uh, messing around with a little vibrato stuff. You know, I've been going through a uh, Fleetwood Mac phase. I, I kind of go back and forth and in time to rediscover people that I was influenced by originally and kind of get into their shoes a little bit more. And um, Peter Green and Danny Kerwin, they're uh, less pulverizing on a variety of different early Fleetwood Mac stuff. Uh, really, really delightful. And the, the vibratos that Peter Green and Kerwin used, uh, Peter Green's a little bit more BB King esque. If you listen to uh, early BB King, a lot of times we'd do that, you know. But that you get it up to pitch, like if I'm in the key of B here, B minor pentatonic, and I'm bending the B string with my pinky actually at the 10th fret up a whole step, and then adding the vibrato. And Peter's was a little sweeter, not quite as fast as Danny Kerwin. So Danny Kerwin's would be more like, The difference of the one Peter's and then would be Danny's. Does that make sense? And then when this little thing he did in the minor pentatonic. So again, you bend it up to pitch, bend it up a whole step, and then add the vibrato. And if it was Peter, it would be a little slower. And if it was Danny. You hear the difference? Or that. The faster vibrato. And the thing is about it is that B.B. King was initially influenced by, um, you know, he talks about Django Reinhardt. He talks about uh, uh, Lonnie Johnson. And he talks about his cousin, Book of White. And Django had that funky little... That faster vibrato, and that's kind of where uh, Kerwin's vibratos were. At. Whereas Peter's is a little bit wider, wider like BB. And of course, that gets into the cost up vibrato, which is kind of even a faster version. Of to conjure these things up at will. But anyway, you get the idea. So hopefully that helps you out. And to get those vibratos, obviously, it's a, uh, as I've talked about before, it's just kind of a, we can get into much more depth and detail. And actually, I do in a lot of my Hal Leonard instructional materials. I got a new uh, book out called uh, uh, Brave New Blues, which is going to have a video along with it where I go into the nuanced styles of a bunch of the different uh, blues and blues rock characters. So anyways, check that out. This is uh, Greg Koch at Wildwood. Messing around in our ancillary Wildwood lair uh, with a little Peter Green and Danny Kerwin shout out. Later dudes, cats, chicks, creatures of all kinds.